Welcome to Coedebrenin Forest Park. 9,000 acres of stunning landscapes and wildlife within Snowdonia National Park. Brenin was originally part of the Nanai estate founded by Cadogan, Prince of Powys, in 1100 AD. Later it became known as Vaughan Forest, and in 1935 it was renamed Coy de Brenin, which means the King's Forest, for King George V's Silver Jubilee. Bought by the Forestry Commission in 1922, it was extensively replanted, as most of its timber had been used in the First World War. Nowadays, Forestry Commission Wales looks after these woodlands on behalf of the Welsh Assembly Government. Four rivers cut through the forest park. The Mauthach, with its dramatic waterfall, Nearby, the River Gain also has a spectacular waterfall. The Eden passes close to the new visitor centre. While the River Wen journeys through a steep wooded valley on its way to join the Maurath. If you go down to the woods today, you'll find an appealing mix of conifers like Douglas fir and larch. And broad-leaved trees like oak, rowan and birch, as well as open heathland. We're carefully looking after the forest and replanting with broad-leaved trees to reinstate the natural woodlands of Wales. Coy de Brenin's most famous trees are the King's Guards. These Douglas firs were planted in 1928 and are now a towering 49 metres in height. That's the same height as 11 double-decker buses. Waymarked walks are graded for difficulty, so the choice is yours. We also have three wheelchair-friendly trails and some waymarked running trails. In the forest garden, there's a special tree trail. Discover fascinating facts about the surroundings and local folklore. If you're into maps, why not give orienteering a go? You can get root maps and leaflets from the visitor centre. It's a great way of exploring the hidden treasures of Coeur de Brenin. And talking of hidden treasures, gold was once mined in these hills. Gold used to make rings for the royal family. Iron ore and copper ore were also mined in this area. In fact, the owner of this mine invented a way of getting as much copper out of the ore as possible, a process which is still in use today. Much of the forest's wildlife is at home in the trees. Birds like the wood warbler, pied flycatcher, crossbill, and goldcrest. Overhead, you should see common buzzards and maybe even a goshawk. 
whilst up on the heather moorland you might see skylarks and meadow pipits, or the rare black grouse, or even the elusive merlin. And by streams and rivers, watch out for dippers, grey wagtails, and herons. The shy fallow deer have survived from the hunting days of Vaughan Forest. If you're lucky, you can see them grazing in amongst the trees. Underfoot, look out for wood ants. They may be small, but their nests are huge. You'll find some of the UK's finest mountain biking in Coedebrenin, with trails for novice to white knuckle riders. This is the start of the High Octane Taro Trail for experienced riders only. All trails start and finish at the visitor centre where there are bikes for hire and trail maps. Don't forget to follow the forest cycling code. The eco-friendly visitor centre is built from locally grown timber. It's insulated with recycled newspapers and heated by wood chips from local woodlands. And for our younger visitors, don't miss our playgrounds and specially designed natural play areas. Coy de Brenin, the King's Forest. Come for a day out here and give it your royal seal of approval.